We are recording. So, yes, seven-second workout. You don't have to do anything for more than seven seconds this entire time. So make sure you can hear this. It should be kind of loud. Let me hear if you, if you hear this buzzer, this beeper. Thumbs up if you hear it. That's going to be going on every seven seconds for this entire time. Non-stop, just like that. We have two exercises per round. It's simple. We're even going to get warmed up on that, on that timer. So let's all start with a right shoulder stretch. Just holding the right shoulder. That's it. Just holding it. The bell rings, fling it open, and stretch the other side. And you're just holding it until the next bell. Easy stuff. This workout's a joke. It's seven fucking seconds. It's a seven-second workout. I'm going to get rich off this shit and sell that to seven-second workout. Because all the fatties out there will hear it, and they'll be like, oh, my God, I can get shaped in seven seconds. Just keep, and keep, while you're doing this, keep your feet moving. Just moving around, stepping around just to keep your blood flowing. And every time the bell rings, fling your chest open. Fling it open, just open that chest up, and then grab the other side. Stepping your feet around, moving around. Fling it and catch it. <coughs> Last one right here. Right when the bell rings, you're going to go to a right quad stretch. Right on the next bell. So right quad stretch. You're going to hold that for seven. Bell rings. Just switch right over to the other side. That's it. Simple stuff. The leg you're standing on, make sure that knee is slightly bent. Your upper body should be straight up and down. And then switch right away. Bring the heel to your body, not your body down to the heel. While you're balancing on that leg, so you're still warming up the leg that's on the ground. Just keep switching. Seven seconds each. You can't stand on one leg for seven seconds. You either, I don't know, you got to get either stronger or stop drinking so much fucking alcohol or something. Some of you are wobbly as shit. Whiteman's fucking drunk over there. He's playing hopscotch. And bread. That was they know the best way to get through a, a workout is to show up, show up drunk. It's the best way to survive. You don't even know what, <laughs> know what the fuck happened to you. <laughs> Bell rings. You're going to go forward shoulder circles. While you're just moving around, walking around. Forward, loose, fling them. Walking forward, back. Bell rings. Go backwards. Keep those feet moving. Step around, hop around, bounce around. Bell rings, you're gonna go back to forward. Keeping those legs moving. Bell rings back. Right in your feet, just moving around. One more time each, forward. Pulling them, back. Walking it off, moving around. You're going to knee hug, knee hug. Knee up to your chest. Seven seconds. Straight up to your chest. Hold it. Bell rings, switch, obviously. That leg that you're standing on is warming up also. Get used to being on one leg. Get it up there. Hug it to your chest. Quick switch right away. Body straight up and down the entire time. Bring that knee up to your chest, not your chest down to the knee. Keep your posture. Last one on the left. Get used to that bell. You're going to be on. That's going to be your trigger all day. Right arm, shoulder, or tricep stretch. Even while you're doing this, you move those feet around. Don't just stand still. Get ready to work. Bring it down when, before you switch sides. So get a big, like, underhand swing and then switch sides on the bell. Open that chest up and loosen up the shoulders. Stretch it out. Bling it and stretch. Put it back up before you get bitch slapped. <laughs> Stretch that tricep. Keep those feet moving. Bling it one more time each side. On the left, maybe the other side, see the side. You're gonna go to a glute hip stretch from here. So just like the knee hug, except you put one hand under your ankle, the other one on the outside of your foot, and just lifting this up, stretching the hip and glute, and your shin parallel to the floor, and just holding it, so we can show up some of those amazing balance skills again. Switch. <laughs> Chris.
Chris, you can do a fucking flip on a ski behind a boat and twist in the air and land, but you can't stand on one fucking leg. Lost one, Alex. My knee's still shit from wrecking that one time about three weeks ago. That was you doing those flips, right? Behind the boat or whatever? One more time each side. Done. Right into the, the what does this? The stretching round, the warm up round, we're staying on the same clock. It's just going to be fucking ringing all day. All you're doing is to get loosened up. Now it's going to get some actual warm up. You're shuffling across the floor to hear a bell. Hear a bell, you're just putting jacks in place. Simple stuff just to get your blood flowing now that we're stretched out. Bell rings back to the shuffles, the side to side, whatever space you have. On the balls of your feet. Shift. Right into jacks. Bell range your jack. Right in your feet. Bouncing your step on the balls of your feet. Shuffle with control. Your feet never come close together. Push on the outside leg. And change direction. Sharp change of direction. Cut. Right to jacks. Back to the shuffle. Jack. Just get the blood flowing. You're ready to get ready for work. Bouncing your steps, smooth, gliding. Jack. Easy stuff. Just get the blood flowing. Jack it out. Couple more beats. It's just a warm up round, so it's only going to be a few sets. Those other rounds, you're going to determine how long the rounds last. The harder you put out, the less sets of seven seconds you have to do. Start bullshitting, dragging ass, and it's going to be a lot of seven second rounds. Bouncing your step, landing your feet. Time. So pay attention. The only time you're going to get for a breather is when I'm explaining what's coming up next. All we're doing next is you're going to be in a high plank position, push up position, walking across the floor. When the bell rings, you stop and do push ups. Bell rings, you go back to the high plank lateral walk. That's it. Simple stuff. We got it? All right, let's do it. We're on the walk, on the bell. Push up, walk. High plank, lateral walk to the side. Stop in place, take your push ups in for seven seconds. Back to the walk. Your hips need to be down on this walk. Back straight, abs strong. Push ups, the chest goes to the floor. Stim in the board, big core. Core is just holding you together. Back to the wall. Hands be lined up directly under your shoulders. There's the bell. Back to the push. Feet are together on these push ups. Into your nose down. Out your mouth up. Back to the wall. Push. Yes. To the wall. Fuck it up. Push. <laughs> On your feet. Right away. Just like we did with that, you're gonna do a squat walk with actual squats. You're down low, hold the squat position. Look at my feet, they're apart. Oh, we're walking. In a low squat. Lateral walk. Right into squats on the bell. Just like you did push up walk and push ups. Hello. Feet are not coming close together like this. Look, this is why. One inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. 
And then full squat. Sit back on the hips and heels. Get low. Get through the nose down. Out the mouth and way up. Drive it up there. Full squat. Low. Right to the squat. Head is up. Chest is out. So we're we'll back and down. Back to that first group, the push up walk and the push ups. Your arm just had a complete break. They should be ready to go. We're on the walk on the bell. Push up position. Go. You better change direction, boy, or you're going to run the hell over. Push. Breathe it out. Drive your chest, shoulders, drive, and walk. Get those hands lined directly under your shoulders. Get your ass out of your air. Back flat. The walk. Push. Straight line, skip the board. It's down. squat walk. Right back to the squat walk. Second group. Go. Get low. Stay low. Weights on your hips and your heels. Tiny little steps. Squat. These two rounds are just getting the upper and the lower. Warmed up. Low. Abs are strong. Head is up. Chest is out. Shoulders back and down. And then goes down. Out the mouth the way up. Get low. Squat. The floor. The squats out. Take it, stretch it. You should just be getting warmed up. Just starting to break a sweat. Trying to get your blood flowing. Get your shoulders loose. Set your quads. Keep it moving. Move around. Shake it out. Getting ready to start. this round. All you do is mixing up squat thrusts with crawl outs. You should know what those are by now. Squat thrust is here. Bell rings, your feet are there. Go forward. So squat thrust, your hands stay in place, your feet move, crawl out, your feet stay in place, and your hands move. Three opposite movement for each. Squat thrust on the bell. Go. Squat down, jump back, jump in, stand up. Right away the bell rings. Go turn this right to the call out. Stand up in between. Up, right back down. Wherever you are, switch to the other exercise. Your mid rep, just fucking change mid rep. Keep it moving. Right to the crawl. Standing up each time. Come on, thrust. Transition, smooth transition, one to the next. 
Working your entire body here. Keep rolling. You're already down there. Just train right to the squat thrust. Crawl. Out to the full push-up position. Abs are strong. Squat thrust. Squat down. Jump in. Jump in. And up. Squat down. Don't lean over the place. Squat down for the crawl also. Transition, no matter what position you're in. Transition to the other exercise. Keep it rolling. She got a squat thrust. Hands forward. Transition right to the squat thrust. Next one's just going to be lunges. It's going to be forward lunges with just your right leg. Then we're going to go forward lunges left. Then reverse lunge right. Reverse lunge left. Coming up. Next row. Go. Right leg forward lunge. It's only seven seconds. You're only going to get two or three. Not how slow you're going. Left leg forward. Hands are strong. Head is up. Right leg back, except for the reverse ones. Feet always come together. Left leg back. Roll down 90 degrees, both knees. Right leg forward. Rotate between those. Left forward. The weight should be on the hip and the heel, that front leg. Not on the toe and the knee. Right leg back. That means the weight's on the hip and the heel of your left leg right here. That's what's controlling you. Left leg back. Reverse lunge. One more time around. Right leg forward. Left leg forward. New transition. Upper body's upright the whole time. Right leg back. Roll down, left leg back. Come on. Have a second stretch of the legs, quads, glutes, whatever. We're going back to the squat thrust and crawl out for a second round. Squat thrust on the bell. There it is, squat thrust. You're gonna get three in every time, three squat thrusts. Crawl out, better get too full. Squat thrust. Push the pace. Aim for three every round at least. Crawl out, aim for two at least, too full. Standing up. So you, can't, you can't get four squat thrusts, Tyson? You slow? You can't get four? Come on. Come on, here it is. Come on. You start it down. You start it down, you little cheater. Four, sucker. Roll out. Push the pace. Challenge yourself. Don't coast and cruise. Roll out. Bring the fucking fire. Every second of every second. Shake it. Should be nice and warmed up by now. Got squat jumps coming up with front kicks. Squat jumps, your break from that is going to be front kicks just in the air. Just alternate leg bending and standing. Squat jump, it's just a full regular squat jump. If you have a second to get in between them, I'll explain it. That's be your time shaking it. Stretching it, getting ready for the next round. Staying loose. Squat jumps on the next bell. Squat jumps on the bell. Go, squat jump. 
Upper body straight and down. Bend and extend that leg. Squat jump. Sit deep. Full. Back on the hips and the heels. Get some air. Head up. Breathe it out. Slow. Head to hit the ceiling. Kick. Have strong in these front kicks. Bend the knee and extend. legs. Taking that ass like that. White man, I'm going to start freaking sending some dollar bills. I'm going to start PayPaling your dollar bills. Keep moving, stretching, active recovery. Hit 95. Sets. Seven seconds. Resetting it. Before we go back to those squat jumps and front kicks, you're going push up position. It's just going to be shoulder taps and knee tucks from the push up position. Just giving those legs a break. Not on the first bell. On the second bell, you're going to start with shoulder taps. Get in position. High plank position. On the bell, shoulder taps. Go, shoulder taps. So this set, your feet are stable. Your hands are moving. Now knee tucks, not mountain climbers, one leg at a time. So now your hands are stable, your legs are moving. This is really just to get a recovery from the legs before we go back to squat jumps. Working on the core, working on your chest, your shoulders, your tries. Pump those knees in. Taps. How many taps you get in every set of sets, Mason? That's bullshit. Count. Keep up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, sucker. That's like two and a half per second. and make it hard. Next bell, right back to the squat jumps. Go. Get some air, your legs are fresh now. Fix, boom. That foot should be up in front of your face. Get it up there. Jump. Get some height. Every second of every set. 
So they're always working. Every exercise gets your core stronger if you're doing it right. Shoulder taps and knee tucks. Right to it on down. Go. Taps. Knee tuck. Taps. Bring those knees into the chest. Constantly squeeze your freaking abs. Dig it! Tap it! Speed! Ha! 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 Faster! Time, right back on your feet. We're going back to that lunge rotation to get it in a second time. That forward right lunge on the belt. Go! You don't need no damn break. Easy shit. Right leg lunge. Left forward lunge. Right, re right reverse lunge. Right reverse. This lunge round is just a break for your upper body. It's all it is. You notice how these exercises flow. It allows you to just keep going nonstop, not really need any break. As we're rotating between all different movements, all different muscles, all different sides of the body, so that you don't need a fucking break. Left reverse. Time. So we're going back to that push up position. You're on high plank jacks, low plank jacks. So when you transition, look here. You're here doing high plank jacks. The bell rings are coming down here. The low plank. Bell rings are walking back up. Not touching your knees. High plank jacks on the bell. Go, high plank jack, go. You're all on high plank jack. Get low. And jack. Up high, jump. Back up top. Hello. On your feet. This one's going with power squats and split jacks. Power squat is pop, pop, drop. Split jack is just front to back jacks, legs only. Power squat going on the bell. Pay attention to what we saw. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We all start and we stop together. Everyone, let's do some squat jumps. This is one extra word. Everyone hit some squat jumps. Everyone hit some squat jumps. Everyone hit some squat jumps. Attention to detail. I say start on the next bell. You've already started. You just fucked the whole team. Attention to detail. Keep squat jumping. You're not even on a bell right now. You're just squat jumping. So we all get on the same page. All the squat jumping. About seven seconds in between to explain what's coming up. I see some of us just dicking around. So this is what we're doing between every set. Do some squat jumps. All right, next bell. We're all on power squats. On the next bell. Go. Pop, pop, drop, low. The bell, we got split jacks. Split jacks. Front and back. Just the legs. Abs are strong. Get your hands up. Do something with your hands. Thank <laughs> you. 
control your damn limbs. Arms shouldn't be flopping all over the place. You need something to do with your hands, you can go grab some heavy fucking weights. Oh, why we do this shit? Power squat. Hop up, drop, get low. Split jack. Hop, hop, drop. You can see from the side how low I'm getting. Posture my upper body. Straight up and down. Split jack. Moderate stride, front to back. Drop. Hop, hop, drop. Get low. Time. Next bell, you're back to that high plank jack. Get in the push up position. Push up position, high plank jack. Go, jump it. Switch it to low on the bell. Get low, not touch your knees. Unless you absolutely fucking need to. Modify before you stop. Jump it out. No. Back to the power squats. Power squats on the bell. Go. Oh, yeah. I don't care if you're tired. I don't care if it's hot where you are. I don't care if it's cold. I don't care if it's day or night or you're fucking old or you have injuries. It doesn't fucking matter. Figure it out. Make it happen. I'm probably just told today we're not here, except for Bart's fucking old ass. <laughs> know your limitations, know what injuries you have. Fucking work through them. Modify around it. Build fucking strength on top of the weakness. All right. Shake it. Stretch it. You got a half a second to hydrate. Active recovery. Not your hands, your hips. If you're not moving, you lose the active recovery for everyone. Moving around, stretching, shaking. Be okay, ready for the next round. Going high knees and mountain climbers here. So one set on your feet here, bell rings right away. The same movement. You don't even stop moving those fucking knees. Just keep running them as you're switching to two positions. It's a fast paced freaking combo. You're gonna burn out quick. It doesn't fucking matter. Make yourself burn out quick. If you don't burn out quick, you didn't go fucking hard enough. And once you burn out, deal with it. Just get one more set, then just one more set, then just one more seven seconds, one more seven seconds. On the second bell, we're starting high knees. The second bell. There it is, high knee it. Bury yourself here. Fucking burn yourself out. We're not pacing ourselves. Mountain climber. Deal with the one set of seven seconds. Deal with the next one when you get there. That's all you have to think about. Seven fucking seconds. Get him off there. Are you trying to race me, boy? 
Next round is going to be all on the plank. Stretch your shoulders out. You're going to be high plank Superman, low plank Superman. Walking up and down the same way you did the high plank jack and low plank jack. So Superman is opposite arm, opposite leg. You just stay high, 
Alternate sides for seven. Walk down low to the forearms. Alternate low for seven. Next bell, we're starting to high. Get in position. Ready. Go. High point Superman. Up to the foot leg. In the air for a second. Control it down. Low. Seven, just get off your arms. Next bell. Next bell, you're holding. Squat position. Go, get low. Ass in the grass, head up, chest out. Don't lean over the waist. Deep. And squat. Low. What? Drop. Drop. No! Sit back and hit your heels. Bend your nose down. Out your mouth up. Don't slump forward. The bottom. Slide out. So after doing that set, who thinks they can guess what the next round is? Who can guess what the next round is based on that set? You did a squat hold the squats. What went with the squat walk and, and squats before? You fuck the brain. Yes, push up, hold, and push up. He was doing it. I wasn't even looking. I was listening. You're holding. Avoided <laughs> push up position. Not bottom and resting your tits on the floor and your nuts. Not top and just hanging out. Halfway hold. Bell rings and you bang out some push-ups. On the next bell, you're doing a halfway hold. Go, halfway hold. Halfway. Not laying on the floor. Don't follow my technique. I'm just speaking up to watch you fuckers. Push it out. Oh, halfway. Abe, get a little lower. Forrest, a little lower. And push ups. Half hold. Locked in place, step is aboard. Suck it up. We hear the grilling noise over here, Tyson. Oh, halfway. Three quarters, not one quarter, fucking half. Push, <laughs> fucking push up. Ah. On the bell, right back to that squat hold. Right back to that squat hold on the bell. Go, hold, squat. Squat out. All she's doing is giving her arms a break to that push-ups. Hold that you know is coming up again. Play the game. Fucking deal with it. Seven fucking seconds. I kept my promise. You haven't done anything. 
for more than seven seconds at a time. Breathe it out, control your breathing. You're low and hold. Your leg, elbows off your legs. I will chop your leg, elbows off. Half push up hold coming up. Half push up hold coming up on the next bell. Hold the halfway position. At the bell. Go, hold. Locked in place. You're not even moving. You have to sit still for seven seconds. Push up. And hold. Push. All the way down. Full range of motion. No bullshit. Five in at least. And hold. Oh, yeah. Suck it up. Push. Bang them out. On your backs. In a second. You're going to be on your backs doing flutter kicks. The bell rings. You're quickly flipping the fuck over and just holding a low plank. That's it. Flutter kicks, low plank. Flutter kicks on the next bell. Flutter. Take a quarter of a second to lower your ass over. Flip and kick. Start kicking while you're fucking flipping. Yeah. Hold. 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 Flip. Thing is, I got my try a lot more better than and hold. Flip and kick. Roll and hold. Time on your feet. Shake it. Pay attention. All you're doing here is holding a little high plank. Bell rings, holding a squat. Bell rings, so you're holding high plank. Bell rings, push it down. Bell rings, jump, and hold high plank. That's it. High plank, squat. Easy shit. On the bell, starting with squat. Hold squat, go, hold. So right from here, that bell rings, you just jump right back into the push-up position. And hold. Easy. Rain Jackson. Don't go too low, that's a cheat. Thighs should power up to the floor. Shouldn't be sitting your ass back when you take your seat on the ground. And you don't want the shit down your sneakers. Eyes parallel to the floor. So you're not deep down like this. You're hunching your knees. You're ass down lower than knees. Push up. Hey, hey, hey. Pay attention. After the next high plank, you want to low plank. So pay attention. I'll pull off the next one. High plank, yes, high plank. <clears throat> next one is low plank. You just follow the man now. Low plank, coming up. Oh. High plank, coming up. Ah. Squat coming up. Oh. High plank coming up. Low coming up. Ooh. High coming up. Thank you.
Shoulder stretch. 30 seconds. That's it. We are done. A little seven second body weight workout. Simple shit. Lay flat on your back. Left leg straight. Hug the right knee into your chest and hold. Big deep breath. If your nose out your mouth, learn to control your fucking breathing. Control your breathing, you can control everything in your fucking life. Calm your dumb ass down when you're freaking out. Have your little bitch ass panic attacks. Ready to cry, ready to quit. Fucking control your breathing and calm the fuck down. Extend that leg out. Reach both arms overhead. Long stretch and reach. Big deep breath. <sighs> Hug the left knee into the chest while the right leg stays straight. So at the same time stretching that left hip, that right hip should be loose and opened up because the right leg is straight and loose, dropping down to the floor. Extend the leg out, reach arms overhead, long stretch and reach, big deep breath, in through your nose for two or three seconds, hold your breath for two or three seconds, out through your mouth for two or three seconds. Whew. Hug both knees into your chest. Back, flat on the floor. He's out. Done. Come off and unmute yourselves. Yes. <laughs> 
Pip. Everybody, I'm muted. Harder to hear you. So does everyone here have your travel arrangements for this set for November? Not yet. Better get your shit set up. Because you want to make sure you get there a day early at least. Because the way shit goes, you don't want to get a, a flight delay thinking that you're going to get in there on Tuesday morning. You need to show up at Tuesday 1 p.m. You want to be well rested, well fueled. You don't want to be showing up Tuesday morning. And then you get fucked and your flight has a delay to some stupid fuck. They want to put their fucking face diaper on their face during a flight. And they had to fucking delay your flight. And then next thing you know, you're not there on time. So you need to make sure you're getting there a day early. Take yourself into a cheap little motel. And get your shit arranged now. Because there's not a ton of flights available, especially into a lot of these airports. So get your shit done sooner than later. Try to get that shit done this week. You're going to get fucked if you don't get it taken care of. So everyone been getting the running in every week. Running, hiking, backpacking, hills, sprints, your body weight shit we're doing. You still should be doing your weightlifting. Don't think you shouldn't be doing sprint training just because you're working for endurance. You need to be, be well fucking rounded. Still doing your weightlifting. You should be doing pull-ups. I end, with, I, I end every single workout with pull-ups. At least five, six days a week I'm doing pull-ups in my workouts. No man in the world should not be able to do 10 fucking pull-ups. I'm going to consider you have it. If you can't do 10 clean pull-ups, you don't even have nuts. Nuts need to drop you. You better show up being able to do pull-ups. I don't care if they're not on the physical fitness test. You better be able to do pull-ups. Is there anything anyone here is struggling with? With the workouts, with anything? Make sure you're reading off of that list. You have tons of books to read. And some of you have been in this, this kind of prep phase for months. You should have two or three of those books down. I get a book in at least every week, week and a half, I'm finishing off a new book. Some of the books on that list I've read six, seven times. Psycho Cybernetics, I don't even know how many times I've read and listened to that. Over 10. Reread shit. You're not going to freeze. It's not going to sink into your brain if you don't reread it. One time is not going to cut it. You're going to retain like 5% of it, 10% of it. Nebo. Yes, sir. Nebo, can you hear me? Yep. Can you let these candidates know a little bit about what? So you, you've been the longest graduate here, now over a year since you graduated. Can you tell us a little bit about the differences in your life, the changes that you personally made, the difference in your relationships, in your marriage? Can you just take a minute and, and talk about that for a second? Sure. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing for me has been uh, uh, honestly communication. Uh, all around between, uh, certainly with my wife, my team, we actually uh, are hiring a new team member on Monday. Um, so I, I'm certainly much better prepared to be able to onboard him and bring him on board and, and lead him in a more productive way. Uh, in the past, uh, I was a really shitty leader. Uh, still got a long ways to go on that end, but uh, so much better uh, after not only going through the project, but certainly in the last year, um, with my group growing with my uh, first class and then the additional classes that have came on board, like huge props to Chris from 003. Chris has been huge in uh, leading our group. Um, it's great to you guys are getting to know him a little bit. Um, you know, honestly, for me, um, the physical part uh, was not the, the challenge. Um, the physical part, don't get me wrong, it's fucking hard, <laughs> but um, that was instrumental in breaking me down um, in, in getting into the, into the psychological end of things. Um, that was the biggest, biggest thing for me. Um, I think, you know, all of it is, is kind of stemmed from there and just getting to, getting to know the guys. And as we kind of grow together, uh, a lot of the progress has come after the fact and continuing to apply those lessons. And, um, you know, honestly, realizing that, you know what, it's, it's a process and continuing to, to battle away. And, you know, like Steve said, continuing to show up, uh, you know, every second and realizing that every second counts uh, is huge. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. And Chris, could you tell, talk a little bit about just the, where'd you go? There you are. About just the power of the brotherhood, how powerful just being part of this and having a group like this in your life 
to be able to reach out to that you maybe didn't previously have or had a strong or as close of a connection? So I did 18 years in the military. I was in uh, Air Force Special Operations field and uh, I had a very tight group of guys. Um, There's only 400 of us, just for over 400 of us in our career field as a survival instructor. But what I'll tell you is when I left the military, I lacked. Um, I lost the camaraderie and the brotherhood, and that is what I gained back. And literally within a month after graduating, I graduated in January 003. Um, if you haven't read Jason Redmond's book, uh, you need to. And uh, I'll tell you, I was on an X immediately, and my whole family was. And without being able to immediately reach out to the brotherhood and have them to support me, I don't know what I would have done. I probably would be in jail um, because of the severity of the incident I was going through. Um, and I'll tell you that uh, it doesn't stop there. Jason Redmond will tell you at least five times minimum in your life you're gonna be caught found on the X. Um, two weeks ago now, I lost, uh, I lost one of my team members. My, uh, my lead facility leader, my right-hand person, she 42 years old, four-year-old son, 18-year-old son, and a 21-year-old. 20, um, she died in a, instantly, severed her spine in C3. And uh, the first people I reached out to for immediate support and help was Pedros as our franchise owner to let him know that my, my whole team, my whole community, just we just got destroyed. Um, she was that type of person. But it first people I reached out to was the Brotherhood. First people I immediately confided in and willing to show my uh, emotion to was these guys. And then, of course, my wife and my family and to be there for my team. But you will find that the connections and the relationships you're going to have in this don't hold a price tag. And they're going to last a lifetime. So go all in. Give it everything you fucking got because you'll get everything back. And want to have anything you want to ask either one of those two that might have some firsthand experience of any questions you have from them from the other side of the line in this whole process of the project so if you have any questions for them now will be the time to ask it Barth. yeah what do you gentlemen what did you gentlemen do for recovery for yourselves during your prep work to go to the project what's recovery um yeah i mean for me i didn't do anything different to be honest like uh uh just getting good sleep uh eating well um Drinking water is not an issue for me. I drink plenty of water. So I think just fundamentals. Thank you. I mean, if you have any particular, I mean, if you have any particular, you know, joint issues or something like that, that's special care stuff, that's a different story. But um, yeah, I think, um, you know, I, I, I will highly, highly advise, um, you know, continuing to, you know, we didn't have something like this, but um, just, putting in the work you guys have a lot of time leading up to it i forget how much time we had um i think we had like maybe 10 weeks of you know where Stephen ray put together some workouts for us um you know and i i would i think i would have been fine doing my own thing prepping for it but i diligently followed the plan and and i think i only missed maybe a couple runs or, or whatnot and it, it will certainly set you up for success um you know it's like anything you know prepare you know, what's uh, one of my, my first coach probably that really had an impact on my life had a saying proper planning prevents piss poor performance. It's true. Yeah, if you're not mentally ready for, for it to walk, get on a plane tomorrow and be there, you're fucking yourself. If you yeah, don't get ready now, if you don't have the mindset that quitting is not an option, it just, just doesn't fucking exist, you've already failed. That's the first and foremost first thing. Quitting does not fucking exist. They're going to try to get you to quit. They're going to succeed, regrettably. But there, the, there's the bet, and I'll put it out there, there's a bet that there won't be a class that doesn't have anybody quit. So fucking show up that you got a chip on your shoulder and you're going to be the first class. If you can do that and you can train to the point that they can't do anything to you mentally or physically that's going to fucking break you, then good. Ch step up to the challenge, period. That's what I can tell you recover a week prior if you need to until then push yourself way past any perceived limits you might think you have Copy and, that. Just don't, and just don't be fucking stupid with your training if you're running 
three miles, don't go run three miles six, seven days a week. Spread your shit out, even it out. Just don't be fucking stupid. Don't think you're going to do it all in one day. Don't do the same thing every day. Don't do any anything every day. Don't lift, lift the same movements every day. Just overuse. It's no, nothing different than regular training. Just train fucking a little harder. But just keep it smart. Maybe a little longer. A little more painful. And you know, your, you know your injuries. You know what you need to work around. Any other questions before we log off here? And just one thing I wanted to touch on. That I said earlier was, he said when he was going through shit, first thing he did was reach out to this group, think about it. And then he said to his wife, there's certain times that only certain people that have been through shit with you, that have been through suffering with you, can even relate and even understand what you're going through to help either talk you off the ledge or even give you some advice or maybe reach out to you and ask you for advice. It's not always going to be your family. It's definitely probably not going to be your fucking loser friends that are sitting there crying about their favorite series that got canceled on Netflix. It's going to be people who've been through the fucking shit with you. They know what you're going through. People who can relate to you. Like, after this, if you make it through to the graduation, and that's a big fucking gift, if you make it through, you're not going to be able to be around a lot of people that you used to be around in your life because you're going to realize how weak of a performer they are. You're going to realize you can't go out and have a conversation like we're having right now with them because they, they'll, they'll be like, what the fuck are you talking about? They won't be capable of even having that type of conversation. You won't be able to relate to them. So be prepared to cut some of that fat out of your life once you, if you make it to the graduation. If there's no other questions. We're going to log out, and we'll see you next week. And like Steve said, uh, you know, I think even being able to, you know, not not have those conversations with outside people, but to be able to have those conversations within the group, even on a on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I had a great call with uh, someone from actually Chris's class uh, last week. And, you know, we've only met in person once, but we could instantly connect and be able to speak each other's language because we've gone, you know, through some of the same battles. All right, good point. All right, that's it. We're logging off. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you.